All right, in this video, we want to deploy our app on a shared hosting using cPanel. But before uploading our files, we need to prepare our app for production. So let's start by going to env file. And you want to go through these variables and set the right information for your app. For example, app name and the time zone and the language and so on. But since this is just a practice, I will only change the important ones. So first, we need to change our app env to production. Then we need to set the app debug to false. Now you can actually keep this to true until you are fully ready to go public. And then you can change this to false as your last step. So if there is any error along the way, you can see the error and debug it. For the app URL, you want to enter your actual domain. But for me, I'm just going to leave it empty. And I want to change my database connection to SQLite instead of MySQL because when I was trying to test this out on my shared hosting MySQL did not work. Now I'm not sure if this is true for all the shared hostings but it didn't work for me and it might be because of the different versions that we are using but it can work with SQLite quite easily. So we want to change the connection to SQLite then comment out these lines since we don't need them anymore and then create a new database in our database folder. So create a new file, call it database.sqlite. So I'm calling it database because that's the default name that Laravel would look for in our application. And you can see that in your config folder and then database and under connections, we have SQLite that by default, it is looking for a database.sqlite file. So back to our env file, we want to set up our mailer to use an actual mailer. And I would imagine if you are using cPanel and shared hosting, your provider gives you free emails. So if we go to cPanel for a moment and under emails, I've already created this email for myself. And if you press connect devices, down here you have a section that tells you how you can connect to your email. And you have all the information. You have the username, you have the password that you used when you created that email. Then you have your incoming and outgoing server. So what we want to use here is the outgoing server since we are sending emails and we are going to use SSL encryption. So I already have my mailer information that I'm just going to paste it here. So this is my mailer information and you want to make sure this mail from address is also set to your correct email address. So it's not that default example.com because that would give you an error. So that's it for our env file. Let's save it and close it. Next we want to build our app since we are using Vite for our assets and we have JavaScript. So let's go to terminal and run npm run build. So this will create a manifest file for us as well as our CSS and JS files. So back to our project under public, we now have a build folder and within that we have our manifest that is just pointing our app to the right files for CSS and JavaScript. And within that assets folder, we have one CSS and one JS document. Now the next step is to upload everything on our shared hosting. So I'm going to open the folder of my application on my machine and I'm going to select everything including the hidden files and compress them into one file. Then back to cPanel, let's open file manager and you want to create an empty folder on your root directory. So I call that demo2 underscore files and I want to upload my app here. So let's go to upload and select that file. So when that is done, you can close this one and back to file manager. If you reload this page, you should have your compressed file here that we are just going to uncompress it or extract it here. Now, when that is done, we can get rid of this archive file. So I'm going to delete it. And then we want to move some of the content of this public folder to our domain or subdomain folder. So for the purpose of this video, I made a subdomain. And so I have this empty folder. Now, if you are using your domain and you don't have a subdomain, you can just move those files into public underscore HTML. Now let's go back to our app files and open public, then select everything, then press copy. So we don't want to move them. We want to copy them first and then we can delete some of them. And we want to copy them to the root directory of our domain or subdomain. So for me, it's this folder. Now I'm still in my app files and then the public folder. So in here, I want to delete these three documents like that. And then within the build folder, I'm going to delete this assets folder as well. 
So all I have in the application files public is a build folder that has the manifest JSON in it. Now let's open the root directory of our domain or subdomain. We have three documents and we should have an HD access which is hidden. And then we have our build folder. So we don't want to delete anything from here except the manifest. So let's go to build and delete this manifest JSON. Then let's go back one level up and edit this index.php and change these directories so it would point to my application folder right now it's just going one level up and then storage but i don't have this storage so we want to go up one level then we want to go to the folder we created for our app files so i called it demo two files and then forward slash and then the rest so we want to copy this part paste it before vendor and bootstrap so now our application knows where to get the required files then we want to save this and close it now we are done with the folders and files next we want to go back to cpanel and open our terminal so we can just search here terminal and open it so when your terminal is open you want to cd into the application files basically where our whole application is sitting and then we want to run our migrations so php artisan migrate and i made a typo here this should be artisan so this will give us a warning because our application is set to production but we want to run our migrations anyway so let's press yes and this will create the tables for us and the last step is to link our storage to the public folder now for that purpose we don't want to run an artisan command we just want to use the ln command and then dash s for symbolic then you want to point to the storage folder inside your application folder so for me is home so dollar sign home which refers to my root directory then the name of the application files i call the demo2 files then we want to go to a storage then app and then public and then one space now we want to point to the folder of our domain or subdomain so again for me it's on my root directory and then the name of my subdomain and then a storage so the first path should point to the public folder of your application files and the second path should point to the domain or subdomain folder and then a storage so this storage would be our symbolic link to our actual storage from our app so press enter and if you check your file manager under your domain or subdomain folder you should have this storage folder that has this icon on it indicating this is symbolic so with that change our application should be up and running so let's just open our domain and there we go this is our app so let's go through and test some of the features i'm going to register an account here and for the email i'm going to use this one that i just created for test so this should be an actual email because now we are sending proper emails and i'm going to choose a password i'm also going to subscribe to our newsletter and press register so we're going to wait here for a while and of course we need to verify our email so if i open my email provider and give it a refresh i have two emails one it says thank you for subscribing and then to verify my email so i'm just going to click on this link that goes back to my application and now my account is verified so i'm going to create a post so let's just say new post and just going to add some text then i'm going to choose a picture and then press create and here we go my post was created and it's down here if i go to the home page i see my post i can click and see the detail i can go to my dashboard so everything works just the way it did on our local environment and of course i can update it let's see if this one works update it and maybe i want to change the image too so let's change to this heart image and press update again and there we go it's changed and if i go to my file manager and click on this storage symbolic link it will point to the post images that have only one image right now so the previous one was deleted and if i delete this post my post is deleted and if i reload my file manager that file is gone so everything works properly and these are the steps we need to take to upload our laravel app on a shared hosting using cpanel now this is exactly the same process if we were using inertia and view for our front-end application now before i end this video i just want to point out that you might run into some problems in terms of migrating your database or getting server errors the first thing you can do is to set your app debug to true so you can get the proper message and see what's wrong and then you can google that message to find some solution for it but one of the common fixes that you might use is to run an artisan command so back in our terminal i'm going to zoom in here and use php artisan 
config clear that would clear our config file then you want to run again config cache so these two commands can solve your problems but if you follow the steps in this video and you placed your files and folders in the proper place and everything is pointing to the right directory you should get your proper website and that's it for this video guys thank you all for your support and see you at the next one